Hi, this is Cindy Clark from Pack B TV. Good morning, Baldwinsville. This morning I have Shelly Kasperzak and Barb Deschamp from Peace, P E A C E, Peace mm -hmm. Incorporated, right here in the community. Good morning, ladies. Welcome. Good morning. Good Thank, morning. You. Thank you for having us. Thank you for coming you. in. Uh, Peace is, is, is an organization that's been in our area for quite some time, and I'm going to let these ladies, they're the experts on all of this, I'm going to let them kind of walk us through when Peace started, what it stands for, what services are provided, uh, what they, you know, what they have in their area, uh, at their local business, what products or, you know, uh, materials people can drop by to donate to these ladies for the, for the community, and then some of the other services that they offer to the members of the community. Okay, okay. Uh, let's start with what does PEACE stand for? So PEACE stands for People's Equal Action and Community Effort. Um, we're a community service block grant organization, and we're funded by the federal government, and the, the funds actually are, get funneled down to the state, and the state runs it. So um, every county in New York State has an agency like ours, except they all have different names, because um, I guess when they started the program, you got to pick your own name. You know, instead of a brand name like Salvation Army, there's one name. Oh, okay. So every okay. county has one, and um, like, for example, there's a Swigo Swigo County Opportunities, which I think are, so that's similar, it's the same as our agency. Um, so but they're all funded by the same yep, people. All okay. funded by the same okay. people, same right. programming. Um, most of them offer similar programs, like a lot of them do the Head Start. We do the Head Start and Early Head Start. Um, and we've been, let's see, 50, 54 years, I want to say, I believe. Yeah, 54 now, is years. that just in this area right here locally or? No, we're the piece. The piece? No, so we cover all of Onondaga County. We have six other centers like ours okay ours is in baldens hill we have one as far down as tully that covers the south and we have the ones in the city that cover the west side east side south side um and then we have all of our head start locations and um so yeah we cover the whole county mm -hmm. now what's the head start what is that so head start early head start that's a federal program um for it's really targeting children to make sure they get a well, good head start for school. Um, so they start with, they write it, I think they start with, aren't that they can start with pregnancy? Yes. So wait, okay. when a woman All is right. pregnant, they can start with uh, early head start home visitor, and then they continue on um, with support services. So if there, there's any interventions needed, they, um, medical screening, so they can just help catch everything um, at young, young ages. And then we have the school programs, there's universal pre-K. I think they have classrooms for three and four-year-olds. Now they have so, several areas or locations where they do that in this community. So in Baldwinsville, we have at Grace Episcopal Church. Oh, okay. Is Head Start, but it is now a universal pre-K. So it used to be three and four-year-olds, um, and now we switched over to universal pre-K. Okay. So the kids are there. Um, doing their pre-kindergarten and there's a nurse on site they like I said they're, they're there to do referrals and mm -hmm. interventions and a lot of reading skills so to hopefully make sure the kids are on track and ready for they're school ready for school yeah yes mm -hmm. but it's always program. it's before it's all pre-k yes it's yes, all, all before kindergarten okay before correct. kindergarten yeah. okay all right all right um now what uh, I know I've seen I've seen the piece around for a long time. It's been in this community for years. I know yeah. that. What now when people if people want to come in and uh, I know people have come in to get cloth clothing items or uh, household items. What types of things do you accept for donations or and then what types of things do you offer to people if they're free? You got to pay for them. You know. Yeah. Who does, who, how, how does that work? Our treasure go-round is similar to a clothing closet in other areas. Um, we accept pretty much anything that you would need to start a new apartment. So it would be clothing, linens, housewares, dishes, cups, 
Can well, anything for a home. You don't yeah. offer like a mattress. Yeah. They, they no, can't have can't mattresses. Ex but you do mattresses. have furniture. Do you have some types of furniture yes, at some of the we, locations? Um, we could take small furniture like lamps and uh, coffee tables and items like that. But we have a binder that if anyone has anything larger than that, that they're willing to donate to us, we put their name and contact information and what they want to donate into our white binder. And if any family in need requires anything, we can match them up. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Well, it that's the idea. I mean, uh, yes. how many places can accommodate a ton of furniture, oh, too? So that's nice that you can match the people up with that type of thing. And we've been quite successful with that. And they make arrangements with the donor to come and pick up the item. And sometimes our donors are willing to drive the... Deliver and deliver the piece of furniture to our families who lack transportation. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's nice. And yeah. it's a community <gasps> working want, together. Can we just share? We just wanted to yeah. share an example of sure. this. Sure. We had, um, sure. remember the woman that came in, and I believe she was taking in two children. Yes. Like that day, or she got the call from Child Protective or whatever, that she had to take these children in. And I think by the end of the day, what did we get for her? We got the beds. Yeah, the twin beds, beds, the linens. Linens. We were a swivel rocker chair. Yes, we were. And the couch. And a couch. But that was all done through like who we know or what was in the book or what we had and um yeah, so it was really nice. We she had nothing, like literally she had a air mattress and nothing mm -hmm. for the kids and you did so this by, in a day? In a we day. did it in a day with the help of I think there was one community member too that Yes. Oh, that's, that's fabulous. That donated something. You, you know, I know, like I said, I know they've been there forever. I drive mm -hmm. by, you know, I've driven by when I go to, to work and stuff. And I never realized just how many services you provide. Now, this is just one of a couple here you're talking. Fill us in a little bit more on what kind of, kinds of services that you offer in addition to the, uh, you know, the, the furniture or that type of thing. Uh, what other, and, the, and what we talked about, the Head Start. What else? Oh, yeah. What else do you have? I like to consider our Family Resource Center a full-service resource center. We can help you find housing. We can help you find a job. We can help you create and maintain a resume. We do job interview skills. Um, what else do we do? We also, with the help of the Baldwinsville community, and I can't thank them enough, uh, we're able to provide school supplies for students that are in need and it doesn't matter what your age is if you're going to college and you're pursuing a career we are there for you we have interviewing clothing so uh, we also have a food pantry so if anyone is looking to donate any non-perishable items we have an emergency food pantry so you can come in and ask pretty much for anything and we will refer you out in order to help you succeed in life. That is our Now job. all these, now your supplies or whatever you have, the, the, the materials that you have there, mm -hmm. now is there a charge for that or not? Everything is free. Our clients are um, income-based. That's how our grant works. So if you are financially in need, come talk to us. There's always resources out there that we can connect you with. Oh, this, oh, that's so nice. And we, we try to be creative. Yeah. We are Sometimes we have to be creative because you never know mm -hmm. what a family, what situation a family might be in. And um, we do yes. pretty much everything in our power to try mm -hmm. to help, even if it's something we're like, oh, we haven't done this before. How are we going to do this? Yeah. If we have to call someone, if we have to, mm -hmm. you know, even go to the store and get something. I mean, we do have funds that are available. Um yes. To meet needs. Mm -hmm. We have a hygiene pantry. So, um, again, toilet paper is a big issue. Mm. It <laughs> hasn't big been challenge. for a couple of years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, again, we welcome anyone who would like to make donations to our hygiene pantry. Now, is it, what, what hours can people bring donations? Oh, we are open Monday through Fridays, 9 to 5 p.m. But just give us a call. We can stay later. If you're coming home from work at 5 o'clock and you'd like to make a donation or you need help, just call us a little bit earlier. We can accommodate. We hardly ever turn anyone away. That's just not us. We will help at any time.
See, she gives, sorry, I just had to say, she gives 120%. I didn't actually put that down in the policy that we can stay later. But, but she, and, and we both are that way, too. Like, We've yeah. always been accommodating you know, whenever I've dealt with you yes. about anything. I've called a couple times, you know, trying to seek a situation or ask questions about someone in need. And I got to tell you what a sense of relief it was to know that there's somebody that you can, you can, re, you can reach, reach out to yes. and get real serious answers mm -hmm. and oh, potential yes. help here if it's necessary. Uh, yeah, it is. It's a good feeling. And anybody in the community in need, these people are here. They really are here to help because I've dealt with them. They really are. Um, so some of the other services you get involved with, is it with HEAP? Heat? Is that what it is? Yes. Um, now, during this cold weather, HEAP is very important to our clients. So we can assist with application assistance. We help with faxing because faxing can be very expensive for those that are on a limited budget. And when applications are 10, 15 pages long, yeah. that can eat into somebody's budget. So Peace Incorporated, Mullinsville will fax your application down to HEAP. There's another special program called Care and Share, and that opens up in February. And the National Grid employees, bless their hearts, they take mm -hmm. money out of their own paychecks and put it into this grant and you can apply online and we can do that for you. And it provides $200 additional to your national grid mm -hmm. bill. So it helps out. Yeah. So I didn't know that. So, mm -hmm. so potentially mm -hmm. um, it can be, let's see, a person got the max. So it could help almost $700. Yes. Which for, yeah, to yeah. between the two, because everything's going up so much and yeah. Special, um, that's got to be income. difficult with organizations like yours because I know with my own personal budget and you know costs of, mm -hmm. that I have that are going up, sometimes it's difficult. And I'm mm -hmm. sure there's some people out there that have to decide if it's going to be rent, if it's going to be food, mm -hmm. or whatever the case might mm -hmm. be. Now, do you ever get donations for an animals too, as far as oh, pet yes. food and things? Because yeah, people love their babies. They no, love I their know. fur babies. Mm -hmm. Okay. But you is that something that you would accept as a donation? Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Cat food, dog cat food, food, bird food. food. Just remember that. Cat <laughs> litter. Cat community litter. Too. Cat litter. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. We put that in the hygiene pantry. Mm -hmm. put it, I mean, for the kitty hygiene and the house hygiene. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so how long have you guys, you ladies, been um, involved with this local piece? Oh, I have been volunteering pretty much probably 12 years, and then I was hired. So for the last five to six years, I've been an employee as the family advocate. Yeah. Is that what your family advocate? Yes. Okay. Okay. And so she's actually been in the center a little longer than me. Mm -hmm. I mean, I started where I've been there seven years, mm -hmm. but she was actually volunteering before I came on. Oh, okay. So of course it was the natural thing to bring her on. <laughs> she deserved it. She puts her heart into this. Well, you look, you yeah. work very well together and you, it's Thank almost you. like you've developed a nice friendship, yes. which reflects on the people that you, you deal with, you know, the people in yeah. need every day. So if we hit on all the programs, we've got the, the heap and the, the food and the clothing and helping with the resumes, yes. uh, yeah. the care and share. If, if we, if we hit most yeah, everything here. We pride ourselves in advocacy so we can be the voice for somebody who does not have a voice or it seems a little bit intimidated to be the voice so we can assist with advocacy with dss we can help with advocacy with your landlord well, so that, I, mean, I didn't realize that you could do you could work with that that type mm -hmm. of situation as well okay. okay um and also i just wanted to say that we um when i say like we try to be creative because we never know what mm -hmm. requests are coming in but we do have funds available um it's actually called it's a kids account we call it a kids rule account but like for example i'm helping um a young girl she wants to do ski club mm -hmm. and they probably can't afford it or, right there was another little girl on do pop warner cheerleading mm -hmm. um what did we we got a laptop for somebody yes. who wanted to who needed to study at home mm -hmm. so they're so yeah, it just depends. I mean, when we get to know the families and what their needs are, and um, are there yeah. any particular items that 
you could we can reach out to the public for? I mean, is something that, like you said, a laptop is that that's always welcome? I would presume um, yes. anything yes. of that nature. But is there anything or any supplies that are you have more much more of a need for? I would say hygiene the pantry items because SNAP does not cover feminine products. It does not cover shampoo, toothpaste. Detergents, things like oh, that? Oh, detergents. Okay. So all your, like, health and beauty aids and <clears throat> paper products and all that, yes. SNAP does not cover any of those no, things. No, okay. No. So that's, so if anybody's looking to donate, mm -hmm. this is what they can use. Yeah. You know, your health and beauty Definitely. aids, uh, the toilet paper, paper, paper towels, yeah. detergents, things of that nature. Dish soap. Dish soap. Dish soap. I mean, all the paper towels. That, and that all adds up. I know yes, even it does. my own budget, I'm like, oh, darn it, this is the week I have to get the... This and that. I know, and it it really does add yes, up because yes. it's not cheap. Mm -hmm. I know. If luckily, maybe sometimes you can get a coupon, right. but mm -hmm. that those items are not cheap. So if anybody is looking to donate, and they don't know what those items are probably top on the list mm -hmm. that they they could use for the their community, their their needing yes. community. And we encourage people. Um, we have several community members. They when they do the buy one get one or buy buy one get two. You know, a lot of stores do that. Um, just Give a thought to if I know for myself sometimes when it's buy buy one get three free I'm not going to use it all right but mm -hmm. I can I'll remember I bring that two mm -hmm. things when they have you can get five strawberries I'll bring three to work yes. that's a good idea you know I never mm -hmm. even thought of that because for my mm -hmm. by myself right when I go what am I going to do I got five. one and now I get three extras what am I going to mm -hmm. do with them are they going to go bad yeah good idea I'll I'll have to remember yeah, that for some... the future good idea yeah. so we had everything here do you think I mean as far as we also help with holidays. Okay. And with the upcoming holiday season, if any of your viewers would like to adopt a family and make Christmas really special for the children and for seniors as well, because we'll adopt seniors out, please feel free mm -hmm. to open up your heart and adopt a family. Even oh. if it's just, it can be stocking stuffers. Stuffers, yes. Or just one stocking mm -hmm. and some stocking stuffers, not like... Mm -hmm. Of course, now we've got Thanksgiving. We Thanksgiving. can, you know, if anybody's yes. looking to adopt a family, yes. reach oh, out yeah. to Peace, you know, yes. reach out to Barbara Shelley and and adopt a family to help them out, make yes. their yes. holiday a little more joyous yes. As, yes, along exactly. with Christmas. Christmas is a big one, particularly for children. Yes. Yes. So, particularly for children. Can I just take a minute? Sure. I just wanted to, sure. just wanted to put a um, plug in for the wonderful, generous yes. um, businesses and people in Baldwinsville for... Um, for Thanksgiving, the Mirror Mirror Bridal Shop, the girls again last November, they're doing it this year too. Um, they do $50 per gown sold in November and mm -hmm. then they donate to us um, for a full meal for a family. Very yeah. nice. So last year they Very came, nice. they did 20, 21 gowns last oh, November. Okay. So they brought us $1,050. Mm -hmm. So $50 for a meal for each family. And they're doing it again this year. So, so that, a lot more really families nice. have a much better Thanksgiving. And what else? The Presbyterian Church is doing a giving tree. Mm -hmm. um, I know Marge Calkins had called us, and mm -hmm. um, they're doing a giving. They adopt. Yeah. I don't know if they're, are they doing they're, a family or they're doing the tree? They're going to take a family, mm -hmm. and whatever's on the list, they're going to put it on their giving tree. And um, what else? St. Elizabeth Ann Seton mm -hmm. is doing a giving tree. They do all like, um, I think they're focusing on some of the older kids. Yes. Because they get, you know, not as much. A lot right. of people love yeah. to get the little ones. And, well, they're, they're easy still, to buy for, too. And the older ones like sometimes. But they're 15 and 16, mm -hmm. 17 year olds. They want to have Christmas, too. So yeah. they kind and they're of, entitled. They're they entitled. kind of focus. Yeah. Um, St. Elizabeth Ann Seton is doing that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we have so much support from the community. This is a wonderful it's community. Wonderful. It really is. Yes. Well, ladies, I thank, thank you very you. much. Have we hit it all? I don't I, want to forget anything oh, volunteer here. Volunteer opportunities. Okay, there you oh, go. Yes. Okay. Everybody's looking for volunteers. I know. Yes. I know. And, uh, we would welcome any volunteer opportunity that you, any time that you have to give us. Now, do you have a website we can we can uh, refer people to? We do. Yes, I think. But if you go to just peace or www.peace.org, I think that the individual you can click on the. Family Resource Center for Baldwinsville will be there, mm -hmm. County West. Okay, okay. Just so, so yes. if anybody's 
interested in volunteering, donating, whatever. This oh, is yeah. how you get a hold of them, yep. and they can mm -hmm. they can put you direct you in the proper area. Yes, yes. but um, thank you very much, oh, ladies. You, it's yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah, a it's a super you. organization. It really is, thank and you. we're very very fortunate here. Not only to have an organization like yours, but the community that supports you as well. Yes, yes, yes they we do. Agree. And we're grateful for them. Thank yes. you. We well, have. thanks again for coming. Thank you. Have a for great day. Us. Thank you. you. Too. Thank you.